Jay Quellen. No Jay Quellen here? Balake. Where is Balake at? A.A. Ron. A.A. Ron. Right here, everyone. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to the channel. David Miscavige is still hiding like the little rat that he is, but not for long, everyone. He's hiding from process servers in two different lawsuits, but the courts are on to him and it looks like they're about to consider him served. David Miscavige is so scared to get served in these lawsuits that he has even canceled major international Scientology events so that process servers cannot infiltrate the, these events and serve him. Here is what Mike posted. His post is titled, What Happened to the IAS Event? Now guys, Scientology has like five or six major international events each year. And one of them, one of the most important, and one of the events where they make the most money is the IAS event, which is held uh, early October every year. The IAS is the International Association of Scientologists. Uh, they call this the Membership Organization of Scientology. When you see someone who's donated like $5 million, $10 million, $20 million to Scientology, what they're donating to is the IAS. And when you see any videos of Scientologists being awarded these big shiny medals at a Scientology event, those are the IAS Freedom Medals. That big giant medal that Tom Cruise got awarded where he's saluting L. Ron Hubbard and saluting David Miscavige, that was the IAS Freedom Medal of Valor which is just a special version of the IAS Freedom Medal that was made just for Tom Cruise. So anyway, the IAS is sort of the big justification to have uh, the fanciest, uh, most drippy ceremony for Scientology of the Year. And uh, here's how Mike's post continues on. IAS event, join us live at the Melbourne Org with special guest IAS Freedom Medal winner, Carolyn Collin. She won her medal in 2004 for establishing the Criminon program, blah, blah, nobody cares. But the point is that they're doing a local IAS event instead of an international IAS event. Here's what Mike says. The annual IAS event has come and gone once again without an actual INT event. The reason for no events for the past few years was supposedly COVID related, but that is no longer an issue. The world has basically returned to normal, yet still no event. This is the big event each year for money making at the event itself and lining up future revenue with reshowings of the events and videos and medal winners. There have been no IAS Freedom Medal winners for three years now. This has never happened before, by the way, in the history of Scientology since the IAS was created, which was sometime in the early 80s. There's never, there's never even been one year without an IAS event, much less three years in a row. Mike continues, uh, the only explanation for this is that the COB, that's chairman of the board, that's David Miscavige, is scared to appear anywhere in public for fear that he will be served a subpoena. He could have done the event at Flag in the auditorium and snuck in and out from his office that doesn't exist, that's tongue in cheek, uh, in the SP building, uh, that's the superpower building, the Flag building, the giant cathedral Scientology built uh, in downtown Clearwater. Uh, he could have snuck in and out from his office that doesn't exist in the SP building across the walkway into the Fort Harrison Hotel, but had they promoted the event in advance, it would have been used by the attorneys in the Baxter Guider case to prove to the court that Miscavige is in fact in Clearwater and the lie that nobody at Flag knows where he is, knows where he lives, knows where he works, would have been laid bare. And you could not hold an int event without promoting it. What if not enough people showed up to even fill the Fort Harrison Auditorium? So for the sake of prolonging the process of having him served in the case, the IAS event was not held for another year. What a sniveling little coward David Miscavige is. And I do mean little. Miscavige is one of the only people around who can make Tom Cruise look like the jolly green giant. So there's actually two different lawsuits that Miscavige is trying to avoid service in. One of the lawsuits is the civil suit brought by the victims of Danny Masterson, who are suing Scientology, Danny Masterson, and David Miscavige uh, for the nonstop harassment campaign that they've been subjected to since uh, coming forward uh, a handful of years ago. The other lawsuit is a labor trafficking lawsuit that has been brought by three former Scientologists, former Sea Org members uh, in Australia, 
who worked uh, at the base in Clearwater, Florida, and also on Scientology's flagship. Speaking of the flagship, this IAS event that we're speaking of, I believe one of the three victims, I'm sorry, one of the three plaintiffs in the labor trafficking case, I believe may have worked for the IAS, which by the way, has its headquarters on Scientology's free winds ship, specifically so that the headquarters of this organization is always in international waters. Yeah, that's not shady at all, right? So David Miscavige is so terrified of being deposed in either of these cases that he has been hiding for years now. Speaking of which, I have a friend of a friend who knows Dog the Bounty Hunter, okay? He lives in Colorado, he splits his time between Castle Rock, Colorado and the Big Island uh, of Hawaii. If Miscavige carries this on much longer, I'm gonna do everything in my power to get us a special season of Dog the Bounty Hunter, Finding David Miscavige. Dog, if you're out there watching, call me. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter may not be needed. Uh, the lawyers in at least one of these cases have filed some new affidavits recently regarding Miscavige's whereabouts. It looks like they are going to hopefully succeed in getting uh, the judge, getting the court to rule that Miscavige is considered served. And then who knows, we just might actually wind up getting David Miscavige deposed. And that would be a wonderful thing. But until that happens, Miscavige is gonna keep hiding like the little rat that he is. And when we get any more information on this, uh, you guys will be the first ones to hear about it. All right, everyone, that's all I've got on this for now. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all of you who watch until the very end. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, if you want to see my rock and roll songs, click right on this guitar. And if you want to see an, a different one of my videos, uh, then you could click right inside here. If you have subscribed or not, subscribe right here. Bye! -bye.